Oh, hey guys, today we'll be doing a, uh, an SSD upgrade on a Samsung Ultrabook and the model here, if you just follow my cursor, the model here is the NP540U3C model. And uh, this is what it looks like here, you know, from the, uh, the full perspective of it. And this is, the, again, the model, which is a Samsung Ultrabook NP540U3C model. And this is a pretty straightforward install. And if you look at it here in the bottom end, once you flip that upside down and put it on your working table or wherever, um, there is a single screw that you just have to remove to get to the opening of where the hard drive is situated, which is, is normally going to be here once you've opened up the panel. But uh, I wanted to make note with this model here, normally when you remove a screw in most laptops, it doesn't matter what brand it is, normally you can just lift it up with your fingernail or just slide it forward towards this rear uh, hinge area here normally it would just lift up but with this one here i actually had to use a flat screwdriver which was like this and and place it in the the center part where your screw is if you go back to this main picture here this is where you're gonna put your your type of some type of pretty strong pick tool um i used a you know a, a micro flat screwdriver and place it under here so it'll give you a, a closer shot as you can see here I lifted that up and as you can see it started raising up and the the funny thing is once i did that the left and the right tab here if you follow my cursor um that wouldn't lift either so i actually had to use the same pick tool and 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 jam it in there just on an angle on a slight angle to lift it up because there are there is like a clamp that holds it down so you kind of had to just push it in the same way as what you did here in the center piece and then just kind of lift it upwards and once you wiggle around with it a couple of times you will get it open and uh, you know once you have it open it's pretty simple just go ahead and remove it there's no cables attached to the actual back plate of that of this piece here that you're removing so you don't need to worry about anything um, so once you remove it this is what exactly was going to look like so you'll see your your cpu fan here and the uh and and your two and a half inch mechanical drive here so before you know uh, removing the hard drive or lifting it up, just make sure that you um, you'll, you'll see here. You'll see there's two screws up here and there's two screws down there. So what I did first was remove the two screws there and the two here, and and then the next step is to safely you know uh, un, you know un disconnect this this SATA cable because the last thing you want to do is remove these two screws here and two down here. And I'm lifting it up and then tearing this cable apart. So this is the next step. I'll show you carefully how to do that so that you don't damage that cable because that's a very important cable. So, you know, as you can see here, this is a closer shot of it. I'll go back to this one here. So, so remember, this is the side of cable that you're going to be disconnecting. So I'll show you here how to do it. So this is basically the lock position on this side of cable. And all you have to do is just look at my fingernail here. You just put your fingernail underneath this section here and then once you lift it up it will just lift up just lift it upwards click it upwards and this is what it's going to look like once you've actually unlocked it so it's pretty simple and as you can see here carefully because i got it zoomed in you can actually just pull on this tab to the left side and then it will just slide outwards and then that is the best way to do it and then once you've done that you can just you know just wiggle out the the SATA cable and put it in a safe place so once you've done that, you know, and once you remove and, and place your SATA cable in a safe place, if you look carefully here, there's an actual bracket that holds the old two and a half inch hard drive in place. And there's going to be two here and then two on the other side. So once you remove the two in each side, you're going to, you know, put, you know, remove the, uh, the two and a half inch mechanical drive and put in your new SSD and then put the screws back in to where they belong. And just, just remember that the orientation of this hard drive here is that um, if you look at it carefully here, the wide section here is on the top end and then the narrow section on the SATA cable is at the bottom side. So make sure that, I mean, as you can see here, this is my, my customer's new hard drive that he provided me. It was a 500 gig Western Digital. So just make sure that you don't have it put backwards because if you do, if you have this large, this wider connector, you know, for the, uh, for the power cable here, you know, uh, with the hard drive upside down is going to end up this way. So make sure that you put it in the same orientation as the SATA cable here. So we'll go back to the original cable, as you can see here, you know, you see here the wide section here, the narrow section. So even if you go back to this here, oh, 
my mistake here. If you go back to this here, just remember that the orientation of your new hard drive, just put maybe the label side here. Just remember that. Not, not, not the Western digital part. So if you have a Samsung hard drive, make sure that you don't see, you're not looking at the Samsung sticker, look at the, the serial number, all that stuff, then you know you've got it done right. So that's pretty simple. Um, and then once you've done that, just put your two screws back in here and put this back in here. And then just make sure that you secure your cable back in and do the same steps as you've had followed previously to put the cable back in and just make sure that it's pushed back down in the lock position once you've put the cable, the side of cable back in there. So, and, and that's pretty simple. And then, you know, once you've done that, this is what it would look like. And then you just put the back plating in. And I noticed with the back plating with this one here, just make sure that there, there are going to be three pieces that's attached to this back plate. Just make sure here, um, let me put it here. Yeah, so just make sure that there are holes there. Just make sure that you insert it from the, uh, the top end. And then, well, this would be the bottom end in this situation here. Once you align your three fasteners here you will see that you can just slide it forward and then and then push it towards this and then it will actually tuck itself in tightly towards that and then once you've done that um i have another video that you can actually you know uh click on to uh to show you how to do the windows 10 install but if you know already know how to do that and you don't need my assistance you know, i'll provide the link anyways but if you need assistance and it's actually installed in Windows 10, just make sure that you follow it from this step because for this specific Samsung um, Ultrabook, the uh, the MP540U3C model, you have to press on the F10 key, you know, um, you know, uh, to access your, your bootable Windows 10, you know, your, your USB flash drive that you have Windows 10 or Windows 11 put in there. Um, so this one here, I'm putting Windows 10 for my client because this system is about, a, what, a good 10, 11 years old, uh, my client said, so, so it came with Windows 8. So, you, you know, with Microsoft, they allow you, they give you a full licensing or, you know, availability to actually install Windows 10 without having to do an upgrade from 8 to 10. So just remember, you can easily download the ISO from a Microsoft website, Windows 10, and then just do it from there and install your Windows 10 home from there. So just, if you don't know how to do it, just make sure that you press on the F10 key. And I'll just show you the last two steps. So once you press on the F10 key, as you can see here, my USB flash drive that has Windows 10 that, that's that's mounted into it, it's on this one here. So by default, you know, uh, it goes to the Windows Boot Manager. So just remember to use your up and down arrow key to navigate yourself to this area here. So then, like I said, if you do know how to install Windows 10, the rest is, it, you know, the, the extra steps that you have to do after this is pretty basic. But if you don't know how to do it, I will provide you a link in and show you how to install Windows 10. You know uh you know from another link and you can just go from there which is pretty straightforward um you know if you have any other questions or anything anyways just just uh, write it in the comments and i'll, I'll uh, gladly reply to you guys as fast as i can all right thanks for watching guys